question was, what is the importance of equal education in 2009? And, and you know, equal can be defined in many, many different ways. So I don't know exactly what, what you're referring to. But the idea is, is I believe education is foundation building. And so we all deserve an opportunity to build a foundation for a life that we want to live. And education is central to that. It's a com central component. Education is a resource, just like money, just like health care, just like being able to live or create the life you want. I talk about being an active architect of our own lives. The idea of being able to blueprint or sketch out and design a life, create the foundation, then build a framework of the life we want, and then opening doors to other people for living that life. And so I believe that, that since education is a foundational element, we all deserve access to uh, so-called equal. But I would rather use, rather than use the word equal, I would like to say great or inspiring education. It's about what you mean. You control school. School doesn't control you. That's true. That's the thing. If you think, if you even have the mindset that wherever you go controls you, then 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 you're gonna give, you're giving it too much power already. Because you really control the institution. You control how you navigate through it. You even control how your professors teach you, perceive you, and also the grades they get. You know, you can actually, you know, dictate your grades. What I mean, is oh, great. you go to a professor that performs. The semester even starts to say, you know what, I want to enter a contract, a verbal contract, that I'm an A student and I only excel, I only get A's. If ever I'm falling below an A, you'll pull me to the side because I don't want surprises and you'll give me the opportunity to raise that grade. And, you know, you get them on board with, number one, that's the way they think of you. Number two, you're saying, you're basically telling them they work for you. Because literally professors are your they're hired to teach you, right? You're the employer, you're the student. My money is paying them to teach Absolutely. me. Absolutely, so they're your employee. So you can treat professors with respect exactly how you would treat an employee. If they're not teaching you the way you need to be taught, then you can hold them accountable for that and say, you know what, you, you work for me. I'm not learning the way you are expecting me to learn. Maybe I learn in a different way. Maybe I learn different things. So you and I need to have a different dialogue. Either I have to do extra work or do something differently, or you need to direct me in a different way because I only accept A's. So you can you control school. Don't let the institution control school. So no matter where you go, you can go to Harvard or you can go to a junior college or a trade school. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You still control the institution. You can still get out from that institution what you want. Right? <laughs> well, I do a, a few different charitable things. I have a foundation called the Manifest Your Destiny Foundation, which is from the subtitle of my first book, Letters to Young Brother, Manifest Your Destiny. From that, uh, we give scholarships, and we also have a summer empowerment academy where we take at-risk youth and, and give them opportunity to study on a college campus. And when they finish our program, the SEA program, they even leave with one college credit. So I'm very proud of the Manifest Your Destiny Foundation. We're at www.manifestyourdestiny.org. Now, uh, you asked about For Real Solutions, which is an offshoot of the Manifest Your Destiny work. It's a, it's a site, uh, forrealsolutions.com, because I felt like that there was a lot of talk, particularly after some different programs, one notable one being CNN's Black in America, where folks were talking about a lot of the problems and issues in our community, but they weren't necessarily talking about the solutions. So I wanted to give a forum and a place where folks can go and actually talk about solutions, and that's what uh, forrealsolutions.com is. And what are you doing now? What's the next step in your career? Is there another book, another movie, well, more you know, CSI? <laughs> you know, my latest book is called The Conversation, and it deals with relationships in our community and, and what's going on as far as relationships go. Um, I'm still working on CSI New York. I'm very proud of that. And other, other things, you know, it, the, the idea is that for me, um, being able to meet with so many young people across the country, which I have the opportunity to do, um, I get inspired by them. And, it's a reciprocal relationship. So I'm going to keep working as hard as I can to uplift, inspire, educate, and entertain. And that's I see that as, as part of my journey. So uh, doing a town hall like this today with so many brilliant minds is a part of that journey, and it was just a great day.